Welcome to another video. This is yours truly. And I have a lot to talk about in this video. Um, I'm going to try my best not to be political and all, but you know, there's some political stuff in on what I'm about to say. So, um, let me get right to this. Um, yeah, um, I, I notice um, the the logic of the um, Republican Party and Republican supporters. I notice their logic. Um, um, they like to um, put down people who they assume are lazy, don't want to don't want to work. And don't want to take accountability for their actions. And what these people, and what these people, the um, Republicans are bashing, um, politicians and normal people who support the Republican Party, um, what these people are bashing, who these people are bashing, are basically people who are homeless. Who are living on the streets and under um, freeway overpasses in big cities all over the United States, um, people who are living in poverty, people who are having a hard time finding a job, people who lack um, the education slash knowledge to land those those really good high paying jobs. Yeah, um, those are the people that the Republican Party are bashing. I mean, and, and, they, and they deem them as, you know, lazy. They don't want to take accountability for their actions. Um, they use, um, uh, like, basically, um, this, is, this is coming from every... Um, black person or African American or non or non white person, non white people here in the US. Um these Republican supporters and Republican politicians, no well basically the Republican um supporters, which are normal people, claim that um black people and other non white people here in the United States, love to make excuses by bringing up racism, and they say they use racism to make themselves feel special, and they claim that um everybody goes through racism, and everybody goes through racism, and it's this other like crazy nonsense. Yeah, um. Yeah, I, yeah, like they just they just say that they just use the race card to make excuses and do a lot of wolf crying and thinking that they're special and and everybody experiences racism. Um everybody experiences racism. Well, um yeah, um, some white people experience racism. Um that's well the the only white people who experienced racism was like the Irish and the Italians who came to this country from Europe a long time ago to immigrate to America you know that's why um that's part of why um America um is a nation of or descendants of immigrants. Yeah, I, yeah, the Irish and the Italians experienced racism, and now they don't experience racism anymore. And um, the Irish went through racism with with the British, and the Italians went through racism here in, here in the states. Yeah, that that which was basically history, and it happened like a long, long, long time ago. And people and, and these Republican supporters who bring up oh racism 
doesn't exist and everybody goes through race everybody everybody experiences racism which is an argument like which is very questionable to me like okay what are you saying you saying like everybody experienced racism and here's the thing you know um, th those those republicans basically you know um, white people and some who aren't white um say this you know just to brainwash people and fill people's heads up with lies you know like for instance you know um republican voters want to talk about um like um countries with universal health care their health care systems are failing and um American, not Americans, but um, people from Europe and Africa are coming to America. Yeah, Euro Europeans and Africans are coming to America by the thousands to give birth to anchor babies because their health care systems is failing, um, which is not true. I mean... How can that be? And um, America is the is a country that has a failing healthcare system. <laughs> yeah, um, people go bankrupt over medical bill over medical bills. People die waiting to see a doctor. Um, their healthcare is tied to their to their job. If they lose their job or they decide to quit their job, they'll lose their healthcare. And you know, and that doesn't go on in other countries that have a different form or version of universal health care at all. So yeah, so that's a dumb art so that's a very um dumb argument right there. And um yeah, going back to um let's see what I want to talk about here, yeah. Yeah, and also they talk also with these Republican um supporters and talk about stuff like um um we just stop complaining about racism. Racism doesn't exist. Well you just live your life, do your job, visit family and friends. And if you do that, you won't have that problem. Which to me is very comical <laughs> which to me is very 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 comical like you know all that stuff these republican politicians and these republican supporters say like i can't take these people seriously because everything that they say is just nonsense and i know something about them like if you disagree with them and call them an idiot say that they're ignorant and insular backwards and don't have a clue of what don't have a clue of what they're talking about and everything they say is just complete and other nonsense they'll get angry at you and they'll just make up a lot of stuff about you and they'll say stuff like okay if you're a black person they'll say this to you um michael jordan and Barack Obama, if they weren't the way they were, if they weren't the way they are today, they will end up like you. And they'll, they'll, and they'll just find anything just to pull out, just to attack you on. Like, okay, if you're a YouTuber and you complain about how much something sucks and you use a lot of profanity language, they'll take that and use that against you and say that, you have filth, you have evil and hatred in your heart. You have a chip on your shoulder. Which you don't. You're just complaining. You're not complaining. You're just you're not complaining. You just you just giving your point on something. You're just talking about the hypocrisy and the nonsense and all the bad things that are unfair things that are going on here in the United States. And the Republicans and the Republicans and the Republican um, supporters, politicians and regular people who vote Republican, who vote conservative. I mean, they'll just sit there, you know, 
they'll just, they'll just sit there and just vote. I mean, just not vote, but they'll just sit there and just like, you know, well, I'm about, I forgot what I was about to say. They'll just sit there and just complain. Not, not complain. They'll just sit there and just like bash people if so if they, if they um disagree with them on something. Like any any non any any anything that you disagree with them on, like you know, like 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 wearing a mask, getting the vaccine to protect yourself from the Delta variant, aka um COVID nineteen. They'll say that the vaccines are experimental vaccines, and the vaccines like it's just a scheme that the have the vaccine to. To, to put a microchip into your body and all this nonsense. Yeah, and throwing these um you got these like I think these think these conservative people, I think they're like conspiracy 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 theorists. And they'll talk about stuff like um like the state of Texas is gonna be taken over by by white people with blue eyes and blonde hair, you know, say things like the earth is flat, and if you curse, meaning if you use a lot of profanity language, you will be smarter. And pills kill, and pills kills this, and pills kill that. Um, pills, yeah, you know, um, you know, medication. Yeah, um, there's some pills or medic, some pills or medication that you take that's not good for you, like you know, like like opioids or stuff like that. That's not good for you. But you know, if you take like medication like um lisinopril to help control your high blood pressure or hypertension, drugs like that will help you. And you take insulin to con to keep your diet diabetes under control, you know. But you know, if you, but if this per, okay, this person says that pills kill and 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 put in all the good medication along with the bad medication, like the good, they tell you not to take the good medication along with the bad medication. Yeah, you don't take the bad stuff that's bad for you. You take the good stuff that's good for you that will help you, like lisinopril, that will help control your um control your um, hypertension but if you stop taking these drugs that that will like help you you're gonna die like you know you got these people who, who who have a mental illness and they take these meds to control their mental illness because they were born with a mental illness if you just stop taking these pills your mental illness is gonna get out of control you're gonna go around and doing crazy things like you're gonna think that like People want to help you are the demons who want to kill you and rip you apart. Yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Mental, mentally ill people who are off their meds will do a lot of dangerous things and harm the people. So, I mean, lumping them, um, saying something like pills kill and lumping bad medication along with good medication, just, there's no connection there. It, there's no connection there at all. No connection. So, you know, these conservative um, conspiracy theorist people, they just say all this crazy stuff that they're just dangerous and they'll just get anybody in all kinds of trouble. Also, I'm about Republicans and conservatives like Okay, um, okay, the abortion thing. I mean, yeah, here in Texas, where I live right now, um, they passed abortion, and the abortion law was passed, you know, to stop, like, you know, poor women to get um, an abortion, you know. And they got this thing, like, this bounty hunter thing, like, they'll get paid a lot of money if they catch, if someone catch someone catch a woman trying to get an abortion and report them to the authorities, they'll get a cash, they'll get a cash money award. So basically making these people a, a bounty hunter, which is just completely insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny. Like, okay, they talk about 
it'd be the Republicans, the, cons- the Republicans and, and conservative voter Republicans. They want to talk about, um, they want, they want to talk about like, um, abortion is bad and, uh, we got to protect the unborn life. Like, here's the thing, like, you know, here in Texas, okay, like, okay, in anywhere, like, I'm just talking about here, like, and it's like this everywhere, I don't know, um, okay, they care about the unborn life, they want to protect that unborn life, but when that unborn life is born, they'll cut programs for that unborn life to survive, they'll cut programs for that unborn life to survive on, and then they'll just sit back and let the unborn life that will become one of the children who are who are in who are in these who are piling up at these hospitals because they caught the because they caught the virus COVID nineteen. I mean, they'll just let them just let this they'll just let them just get they just let them just catch this virus and get sick and ill. You know, to me, it makes no sense. Like. You care about unborn life, but when that unborn life is born, you don't care about that unborn life. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You know, um, here's the idea: you think abortion is so bad, like you know, raise the raise the pay for these poor women who who can afford to raise a child and and they don't want a child. You know, I'm not the type of guy that to, to tell a woman what to do with her body. I'm not going to tell a woman what to do with her body. She can do whatever she wants with it. I don't care. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and also going back, you know, also going, you're yeah, going back to the virus, um, the Republicans and conservatives, they go around and talk about, um, I think, yeah, they, act, yeah, they talk, let's see what was forgot what I'm about to say oh yeah they talk about the virus okay they did okay they're against some um, wearing masks and protecting themselves from COVID-19 and they don't actually they don't want to do that they want to catch yeah I mean they act like it doesn't they act like um they don't want to yeah they don't want to like get vaccinated they want to protect themselves from keeping other people from getting sick and you know that's why we that's why here in America we got we had the highest death rates of COVID because you got a lot of people in this country who don't want to wear a mask at all yeah um okay what else I want to talk about okay what I want to talk about yeah um Yeah, I know this, you know, um in other countries, you know, um people in Europe, um people who live in countries in Europe, um Australia, New Zealand, other countries, you know, um they see how people and everybody in America are and they just like just just they just laugh at them, you know. Like they hear all the silly stuff that, you know, the far right people say and spew and they just find it comical and hilarious. You know, um, and some don't want to talk about like what goes on in this country, you know, and you know, I don't agree. I don't want to, if I was one of them, I wouldn't talk about what goes on in this country either. If you know, I'm, some of them feel sorry for Americans who, who, who you know, how how they think, how they are, and how they live, and what they go through. Some laugh at them and find what they do is is entertaining, and others just don't care. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, um, what I want to talk about, okay, I want to talk about Midtown, Midtown, Midtown stands for men going their own way, and, you know, I noticed something about, you know, 
the Midtown movement, you know, it seems to me in the Midtown movement, um, there's a bunch of men who really don't give a shit about one another, you know, because they're all, they see themselves as like individuals, you know, they don't give a damn about one another. They don't care, you know. It's like all they care about, like, if you agree with them, you're okay. But if you, if you disagree with them, they'll call you names like um, White Knight, Captain save a Ho, Simp, stuff like that. You know, I was called a simp when I did a video about Dog G, you know. Seen that, like, seen that, like, comical um, comment from a guy named Doc R., which you know, I look back on it. It's just, it's just, it's just comical. He said I was talking shit, and I and called me a called me a simp, and I should mess I should message him, Dog G. I'll message him. Well, how I'm gonna do that, you fucking idiot? How the hell I'm gonna message this guy? Tell me. You know the. That just, you know, seems just like how people are here in the United States. How they act, how they carry themselves. It's just completely hilarious. You know, back in the day, you know, you know, hearing these, going through what these people put me through, hearing them talk, how they talk to me, how they put me down, how they rip me apart, kind of hurt my feelings, like, and just made me feel less of a person a while back. But now, you know, I look at all this stuff now from these people. It's just, it's just comical. And it is like, to me, they're just a bunch of circus clowns. You know, going back to the Midtown movement, you know, I see that there's no unity. There's no unity in that movement. Men don't give a shit about one another. Like, you know. Seeing the Midtown movement and men not being united and not coming together and standing up against third wave radical feminism and this in this shitty crappy society that caters to women and and all kinds of special groups and not the men like you know men in America and Midtown men don't care about one another and they're all they're all separate from one another and they don't give a shit about one another and they don't like you know it's kind of sad but you know and I find this kind of strange like and funny at the same time if you come to the, the, the defense if you defend if you like a, a, a certain midtown guy or a certain guy you know not in a gay way but in a you know standing up for him and all men you're called a sissy and and a simp like so okay if i don't give a shit about my fellow man then i'm not a simp but but if i care then i'm a simp <laughs> One second. their own TV show. I'm serious. They need to get their own TV show. You know, and, and the women here in America, they even they're even more comical. <laughs> like some of the women like, you know, they'll like cut their hair short and dye their hair different colors, wear eyeliner and tattoos. 
and some of them like will ignore you and shut you out and they act like men they look like trash they don't look feminine I mean they're a bunch of like bull dykes and feminists <laughs> and, and you know <laughs> and how they and how they carry themselves are even more comical like they're even more funnier then he screwed up men here in America. <laughs> My God. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know what's funnier. I mean, these these conservatives, mid towel men, men, regular men, and the women and the feminists. I don't know who's I don't know which of these groups of people who are funnier. I think put them all together, they just make they just make one big circus show. Like they're just one big circus. In the yard. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> man, man, what is this world coming to? <laughs> yeah here's what I find even more funnier here in America um, there's a senator from Arizona by the name of Christian C Christian um, Cinema yes her and along with um, Joe Manchin are blocking something blocking some bill the record association something like that I don't know like the past in Congress and there and these two and Christian Cinema and Joe Manchin are blocking them. Okay, I'm gonna focus on Christian Cinema. Like, she runs to the bathroom wearing a wearing some like stripy different colored dress to run away from someone who's questioning her about whole about not holding holding them town hall meetings with her constituents. Like, she never talked to them in over three years. And she ignores them, and she doesn't care about them. All she cares about is her, her big back, them um, corporate donors, because she's she's corrupt, and she's a Democrat, by the way. You know, you know, you know. Some people in the Democratic Party, they're just these politicians. Um, some in the Democratic Party, some of them are very corrupt, and they're just for their big donors, and you know care about their constituents like you know they're basically republican conservative light you know and christian cinema like she runs to the bathroom because she don't want to she don't want to confront people who are calling her out on, on what she's doing and seeing her on an airplane ignore someone wearing a mask having her eyeglasses on having headsets on the ear just sitting just sitting and just ignoring that person looking at something on her phone and just ignoring that ignoring a illegal immigrant Talking to her, t talking to her about like legal immigrants being deported back to Mexico in the DACA program or something like that, and she just ignores them, and she does it in a very comical way. Like it's just, it's just silly. Like man, I'm, I mean, I'm living, I'm basically living in a gigantic three ring circus because the United States of America. It's just basically a gigantic three ring circus. And it is. I mean, it doesn't matter if there if people who are the who are feminists, who are who are mid tal, LGBTQ, um, transgender, um, Republican, Democrat, black, white, brown, Asian firefighter police officer male um postal workers the president politicians normal normal everyday people it doesn't matter like everybody in this country are a bunch of clowns you know what they say sin in the clowns sin in the clowns <laughs> That's what they are, a bunch of clowns. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, 
you know, I think, um, you know, if I lived overseas, you know, outside of America, not in Canada and Mexico, not not in those places, just living some of the countries in Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, you know, I mean, I mean, it'd be funny. I mean, I'd be, I'd just turn on the TV, you know, anywhere in the world that I'm at, you know, and it doesn't matter if it's, 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 um, Paris, France, Marseille, France, Nice, France, um, the United Kingdom, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Poland, Ukraine, Russia, the Scandinavian countries, like, it doesn't matter. If I if I was in a hotel room somewhere in these places, and I turn on the TV, I see what goes on in this country, here in the, see what goes on here in the U.S. by turning on the TV, I'll just find, like, everything just, just funny. I'll be, like, falling to the ground, laughing so hard. I'll be just rolling all over the floor laughing. I'll be laughing so hard at just how ridiculous, just how silly these people here in the States are. <laughs> I'm serious, you know. You know, I, you know, and I bet um, Greta Thunberg, um, the, the Swedish um, climate change activist, the teenage... Um, climate change activist, she'd probably find this comical as well. Because, you know, um, she heard about people, conservative people, you know, here in the States and other countries making fun of her because of her stance on climate change. Some say she has anger issues. She need to chill out and go out and watch a movie and, and make friends. She heard about all this and she just she says she just finds this very, very like comical. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, Going back to this person talk about um what I'm about to say here that um yeah um so what I'm about to say here. Oh yeah. Yeah, going back to someone talking about um people who are going back to those conservatives who talk about people who like the wolf cry and and make excuses about racism by saying that oh racism racism doesn't exist and you just talking about racism just to make excuses because you don't want to take accountability for your actions and um and you say you're having a hard time finding a job and you must be a t you must be a terrible worker, laugh out loud. Yeah, they just say all this stuff just to attack you because you called him an idiot on everything that they say um American conservative people who are a bunch who are a bunch of idiots and just say a lot of stupid stuff like talking about um the vaccines are experimental and you put a vaccine if, if people get the vaccine or a booster shot it's just a scheme to have a microchip being put in, in our bodies so people can spy on us and all this crazy nonsense, which isn't true. <laughs> oh, man. These, these people are just, they're just comical. It's just, you know, and they say like climate change is a hoax. And, you know, 
And you got these you got these right wing um, religious nut jobs who come at you and accuse you of of being crazy and being mean spirited and telling you to give your life to God and tell you to thump a Bible and and tell you to believe in God, pray to God, read the Bible, go to church. And at the same time, they don't care about people living on the streets, being homeless and being homeless on the streets and living under under freeway overpasses of big cities and living in poverty and and the poor in the middle class have a crappy poor quality of life because um their country doesn't care about them and doesn't look after them like 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 other countries do like you know countries like Sweden do a good job caring about their people and taking care of their, their people than the United States. You know what they say, um, a country that cares about its people is a strong country and a country that doesn't care about their people is a weak country. If you want to find a weak country that doesn't care about their people, just look to the, just look at the United States. And see what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This country's a mess, you know. <laughs> yeah. I was attacked by a bunch of crazy Americans here on YouTube. I was blocked by one, so I won't comment on the videos on their channel <laughs> I was gaslighted or gaslighted by by a YouTuber on YouTube ripped apart by crazy conservatives on YouTube crapped on by a-hole heartless liberal people on YouTube like that's why I don't take sides. That's why I just. That's why I just. Yeah. That's why. That's why I'm glad that I think outside the box and I can think for myself. And, you know, and don't take sides. You know, but thanks to going overseas and viewing um Winston Wu's um Happier Abroad YouTube channel and reading his forum, like you know. After all of that, I just see America for the way it is, you know. And oh yeah, I want to talk about something else. Like, okay, uh, okay, R. Kelly was found guilty of sex trafficking and having sex with underage, underage girls. And I noticed, like, people on YouTube or making fun of them and cracking jokes. And you know, you know, and it's just it's just sickening, you know, like okay, everybody views R. Kelly as what he is because of what he did, you know. He's he's a sex he's a sexual predator. He's he he's a monster, he's a pedophile. You know, and he deserved to be punished for what he did. But then you got these people who just make fun of them and just trash them, you know. And I see these, you know, I see people like that. Just basically, people from America are just basically sick in the head. Like, why, why in the world you want to make fun of a guy who's involved in sex trafficking and having sex with children and teenagers? Like, I just don't get it. Like. Why make fun of that person? Like, it's kind of fucked up. Like, you know, I'm not gonna make fun of that guy. That guy's a piece. That guy's a. That guy's a piece of garbage. He deserved what's coming to him because of what he did. But I'm not gonna make fun of this guy. You know, going back to that, you know, I remember I had a dream, and I received a comment on one of my videos on my YouTube channel 
and somebody sent a comment that stated um saying that I'm a, I'm a I'm a sexual predator and give it up admit that you like children or something like that like you know um, <laughs> you know I'm not into that stuff you know cuz you know I I view children as as responsibility children are you know are the future you know you raise these chill you raise these kids you take care of them you treat you teach them right from wrong you punish them when they do wrong you educate them you build them up you let them be children i mean i mean why i mean i mean having sex with children and it taking their and destroying their childhood and taking it taking it away from them is just kind of sick and messed up and that's something that I, I will never ever do because i don't because i'm not that type of guy i don't swing like that at all and any of you people at all who who assume that i i believe in that you're dead wrong okay you're looking at the wrong person all right. I'm into women, women my own age. <laughs> Adults. I'm into adult women. Grown women. That's what I'm into. I view children as responsibility. Children that I, children who I know that's my responsibility. If I have kids, you know, if I had like, you know, if I was a father. You have a wife and have two kids. My my responsibility is to go to work, work, make money to put food on the table for them and my wife and myself, put a roof over our keep a roof over our heads to have a place to live. You know? And love those children, you know. You know, like, you know, go to like their soccer practice, their high school football game or stuff like that. You know, <laughs> be a parent, you know, raise these kids, you know, not do screwed up sick things like R. Kelly does, like does the kids, like, no, 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 no. I, I hope I'm making some sense in this video. I hope I do. You know, I'm... This is just a video about me, like, talking about just, just how messed up um, the U.S. is, you know. And this country is really, really completely screwed up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, um. No, all I can do is, you know, just think about trying to move overseas, you know. Um Yeah, I got a yeah, I got some I got some comments from my inbox from my inbox to my Google account. Um it's from a guy named Lunch with Bob or wherever he said um he just he subscribed to me, so he's one of my new subscribers. Um, welcome aboard. Um, he's telling me um about something about the FATCA and said that um all countries pay taxes. If you live in France, if you have dual citizenship with France and the United States, and you work and make money in France, you got to report your earnings to the IRS, which is true. And he also told me people who um. People who denounce their U.S. citizenship and want to live in, to live in a country that they're living in right now, they do that to avoid all of this. So, yeah. So I'm gonna look into this, and I am. Um, that's some good advice right there. So yeah.
But right now, I can't think about that right now. I got to worry about, you know, trying to find work. <laughs> I can't think about that all that stuff right now, you know. You know, I'm, I'm going to ignore um, conservative people who put, who just find ways just to tear me down and, and, and call me out on things or with, with all this crazy hoopla that they say just to just to tear me down because they just do it just to get back at me for calling them ignorant and insular and idiots. I mean that's just that's just these crazy conservative Republican people here in America, you know. They want to talk about responsibility and family values and 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 have accountability for your actions. Well, I'm going to do all that if I'm struggling to find a job, and jobs are hard to come by these days. And you're going to attack me saying that I must be a bad worker because I'm struggling to find a good, trying to find a job. Like, it's just hurtful, ignorant, and insular, and it makes absolutely no sense at all. Because let's face it, you know, the majority of all these, the majority of these Republicans in this country who are anti-vax who like to bash the poor and the homeless and people living in poverty as people who are lazy who want to do don't want to do anything they just bash these people and, and and you know all they care about is just helping the wealthy just all they care about is putting more money in the pockets of millionaires and billionaires and huge multinational corporations Line their pockets with money. I mean, that's all they care about. They could care less about a mom somewhere here in America, like struggling, like having a hard time paying money for a medication and supporting her family of some sort. And poor families, poor poor and middle class who are struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, they, they don't care about people like that. All they care about is millionaires and billionaires and huge multinational corporations in themselves and their huge donors and capitalism. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. You know, and them like saying all, 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 all the crazy, toxic, right wing conservative lunatic idiotic nonsense that they spew you know it's, it's, it's all a joke everything that they say is a joke it doesn't mean anything there's no there's no bearing there's no logic there's no facts it's all just jumbled up bullshit that's all it is and these people are full of crap. You know, they can bash people like me all they want to, but you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're not hurting me. They're hurting themselves, you know. All I gotta say is I feel sorry for the United States of America. I feel sorry for this country. This country is just a divided, decaying, crumbling pile of garbage and some of the people here are completely fucked up all they are are gaslighters and, and mass shooter creators um, they don't want to talk about bringing in gun control to stop these mass shootings I mean yeah because people here in America are individuals they care more about themselves and they're not united and they're divided and people in America talk about the, the breaking away from other states, their state breaking away from another state and all the states of America are all independent nations and the United States of America has ceased to exist. You know, the problem is, you know, you has got a, a corrupt, messed up government that's run by people in two parties that don't do anything you know you got some people in the democratic party 
progressive people like Bernie Sanders and AOC and and others want to restore this country and make it and make it strong and make it better again. But you know, make it well, make it a better country. You know, but. You got corrupt politicians who are just obstructing them and standing in their way. So yeah, you know, this division here in America is just, it's fucking stupid. You know, coming from conservatives, it's so fucking stupid. You know, and, and the conservatives, they're the ones who are behind all this mess. And they were just, and they're going to blame the Democrats for America being the way it is. No, you guys had a hand in, in running this country into the ground too. It's not all Democrats slash liberal people. It's all, it's, it's the Republicans and conservatives as well. Yeah. You got crazy conservatives here on YouTube. Like, okay, if you respond to their comment, you give it a like, you call them, you call them out, or you call them out on what they're saying, on their nonsense and their BS. They'll point, they'll fight, you know, like I said, they'll find anything to talk about. Like they'll point out you liking your own comment. They'll say, stop liking your own comment. People, people notice what you're doing. A lot of people do that. You can like your own comment if you want to and give it a heart on your on the videos on your channel. You can do it. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean shit. Who cares? Because somebody else is going to like it anyway. Like, <laughs> they'll just point out, I mean, these crazy conservative people here on YouTube, they'll just point out any little thing just to attack you. Whereas like you using profanity language in your videos, liking your comment, liking your own comment, doing something in the video and they'll just find anything in the video and they'll point it out and talk about it just to attack you. And say that you have evil and hatred in your heart. You have a, you have a chip on your shoulder. And you're evil and, and you have a chip on your shoulder. And if Barack Obama wasn't the way, wasn't who he is today, he will end up like you. They'll say that if you're black. They just attack you. They just say all these insane, crazy stuff. Stupid shit. Just to attack you. Just to put you down. Because you called him, because you called him an idiot. You called him ignorant and insular. On the stuff that they say. Yes, yeah, stuff like uh, women from Europe and Africa come by the th come by the thousands to the United States to give birth to anchor babies because their health care system is failing and all this crazy stuff. Yeah. America has freedom and other countries don't have freedom. <laughs> Then what else? I mean, you got people in America who are who are just paranoid of one another. People who are who are fearful of each other, either online or in real life. Like you got people who hate people, don't want to talk to people who are antisocial. But if you do the stuff that they do, someone will tell you to go see a therapist. Yeah, go see a therapist. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just more. This shit is funny. Oh my god, what? Oh, man. I just wonder, all of you find find everything that that I say is just hilarious to you. I mean. If you're from another country, you probably find this funny, or, or you guys probably don't find this funny. Well, that's fine, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think people need just develop a sense of humor because, you know, this day and age here in the U.S., P 
people have no sense of humor whatsoever. Everybody just so serious and and just everybody so serious and fearful and ready to rip people apart and block them online because they don't want to hear what they have to say. All this crazy shit and talk about, oh, I don't have sex with women anymore and people change and people are not going to stay the same. All this crazy stuff. Like, it's so comical, you know. Yeah, I think I think Americans who are fearful and paranoid of strangers and each other. I mean, because the United States conditioned these people to be like this. I find these people to be extremely, extremely hilarious. I mean, I mean, they are the they are the modern day bozo the clowns. I mean, they're like I mean they're, they're I mean they're like the modern day bozo the clown. That's what they are. <laughs> Man, it's just big one big clown show on TV, online, and also in real life. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just gonna say this. You know, talking about you know you know I'm gonna talk about the men in America. You, I'm going back to the men, you know, it seems to me, you know, okay, some men in America have balls, some don't have balls, and um, I live in the state of Texas, you know, and, and what I see from men here, I think the majority of every single man in the state of Texas, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming this. I assume that all men in the state of Texas have no balls. They have no balls. No balls at all. You know, it's like, you know, their their girlfriend and their wives, like, take their balls away from them when they get in a relationship with them. Like, they just keep them, keep their balls. And, and it, I mean, the wives just keep their husband's ball, their husband and their boyfriend's balls, in their purses, so, so again, basically, in order for these men, these Texas men, to be men, they have to retrieve their balls from their wife or girlfriend's purse, and that's just sad right there, <laughs> and it is, you know, I guess, you know, I, I guess being in the military and carrying a gun and talking and talking a lot of shit. I guess that just makes them. I guess this makes them up of being men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the, in the in the Texas women, like you know, don't get me started on them, like. Jesus, I mean, <laughs> I know I'm not going to get in a relationship with any any one of them. It seems to me like, <laughs> I mean, it seems to me like, like they don't know what they want out of a man at all. I don't know what they want. <laughs> you know, and, and some of them are men, you know. I saw this woman at this store, like she was wearing like a baseball cap, a black shirt and jeans. And she carries herself as a guy, which is just hilarious. You know, I find women dressing up like men and, and acting like men. It's just comical to me, you know, and I, and I think that, you know, foreign women will find this comical as well. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, like, a lot of them, some of them don't like to wear dresses. <laughs> it's kind of strange to me, like, you know, 
I go out. I'm around a lot of men. I'm around a lot of women. I'm not around a lot of men. It's funny. Like, okay, if this one man harms one of these women, then these, then these men show up ready to pound you or ready to bring you down. But, you know, but if the women aren't harmed, they're, no, they're nowhere to be seen. Where are the men at? Where are they? None of them are in sight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this country is just comical to me. Very very comical yeah um, the united states of america is a divided country where um, people see them see themselves as individuals because there's too much individual individualism in this country because nobody doesn't want the same thing everybody wants different things people don't care about one another you know give a damn about one another you know and that's just that's just sad really and you got other countries where people help each other out and care about each other that is non-existent here in the United States and it's sad so you know if you ask me, I do not want to live in a country like that at all. You know, <laughs> I don't want to live in a country where, you know, where people who are in cells are celib celibate, whatever you call them, they, um, They go around, you know, they think the world owes them something. I feel sorry for these people. They get, they were bullied and picked on in school. They're socially awkward. They're afraid to say something to somebody because they're afraid to say the wrong things, you know, and they can't get a girlfriend if it saved their lives and, you know, they just lose it and go on mass shootings. Um, Hence, hence, um, Elliot Rogers, you know, I, I don't want to live in a country like that at all. <laughs> I don't live in that, I don't live in that country. I don't live in a country like that. That's a horrible country. That's a, that's a completely messed up country. A country that like to pick and pick and pick and pick and pick on people and tear people and tear people down and, keep dishing out this abuse to someone until they snap and lose it and go on and go on a mass shooting you know i don't need to go down that route because you know that doesn't solve anything all i gotta do is all i gotta do is just just work hard do the right thing and just get out of here. That's all I can do. I can't change anything in this country. No one and no one can't change anything anything or anybody in this country. This country is finished. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, but all you can do is just, you know, just just develop a sense of humor, just find all the all the crazy stuff here in America hilarious. Not the mass shootings and police going around and shooting and killing unarmed innocent people. No, you can't laugh at that. Just laugh at just, just strange, paranoid behavior and and crazy stuff that conservatives say. Just laugh at stuff like that. So, this country is a joke. Midtown, the two party systems third way radical feminism lgbt community transgender everything in modern america 
is garbage. It sucks. So, that's all I got to say in this video. Cheers and au revoir.